that bad on his birthday. Let's flip him around. Bigger picture. And that's a cool picture. Not many people have that. Um, a friend of mine gave it to me. And he goes, don't show anybody. So he's sending me the pictures. And I am I thought I was downloading them onto my computer. But I had had that Pinterest or whatever it's called. I had that in my Chrome bar. So when I was saving it to my computer, it saved it to my Pinterest account. And within seconds, people had the pictures. So a lot of them got out, and he got mad. And I'm like, dude, I'm sorry. It was an ad. <laughs> and technically, if I buy those pictures, they're mine. But I don't, I don't think he ever sold me one of them because just never got around to it. I'm like, why am I buying all these pictures? Because they're giant. Well, my, I, I don't have any room. So... Like I was saying, I don't like holding hostage that CD because there's this, like the guy, some people don't like other people to have their Randy Rhodes things. Whatever Randy Rhodes stuff I have, I want everybody to have. Like the picture from his high school. The picture that I took of him. Dolls are one of a kind. I could keep them to myself in that little book and never show anybody. But I put it out on the internet 20 freaking years ago. And I'm the guy that released that soundboard uh, bootleg. The, the best one of the Diary of Madman tour. The soundboard where you can hear the when he does his effect stereo chorus thing. A, a guy in 1999 got hold of me on the internet because I had a little website that I'd put up with different things and, you know, my my bands and my influences and Randy was there. And he goes, oh, and you knew Randy? I go, yes, blah, blah, blah. He goes, do you have any rare tapes? I go, I have one really rare one, but I promised a guy I'd never give it to anybody. I, if you promise not to ever sell it or Put it out, you know, whatever. Don't make money off it. I'll give it to you. And he goes, okay. And then I'm like, no, no. So a month goes by. This is 1999. I had no idea the internet was going to be a hellish tool that it is. So <laughs> I gave it to him, and he promised. I never heard from him again. And within months, it was for sale on uh, the internet. So, you're all welcome for that. Uh, I think it's Milwaukee. It's the soundboard one. It's the, it's the best one out there. I have the original, which sounds really good. It has no fluttering like you hear in that, because I did that with my finger. In the beginning of Diary of Madman, when they're playing the intro, I hit my finger on the tape to slow it down. So I would know that would be my tape that got out. Everybody's got it now. So, but that was then, and, you know, I'm thinking, why hog things? People need to hear it. People want to hear it. And uh, there you go. So I'm giving out all the stuff I got to Randy, and I'll probably end up get putting, you know, that lesson tape out, whether I hit it. I'll hit a 1,000 eventually, so. <laughs>
to play Randy Road stuff because it's his birthday. Celebrate his birthday, not the other one. Remember him on the other day, but also remember how it was shoved to the side and the next day Sharon was calling people to replace him. The next day! And she made Brad Gillis put on his vest! That's why I don't like thinking about the March 17th or 19th. 17th is St. Patrick's Day. March 19th, no, no bueno. <laughs> That's it. I think I've played too long anyways. Yes, I have. I'm trying to make it 10 minutes, so I'll probably cut this in two parts. I don't know. Happy birthday, Randy Rose. Happy birthday to my father, wherever he's out doing whatever he's doing with my mom. And not that. They're too old. But, uh, happy birthday to both of them. And then on Tuesday next week, it's my birthday and Nikki Six. Well, that's the same birthday. So on my 17th birthday, backstage, Motley Crue, and their first album came out on Leather Records. They were celebrating. And I told him, hey, Nicky, it's my birthday, too. He goes, oh, really? Two Jack, and da Jack Daniels. I'd never drank Jack Daniels before. So, boop. Whoa. That was harsh. But I had to choke it down. Because what am I going to do? Throw up on Nick? I almost did. I went. And I turned to my friend. I just, you know, he's just like... Because we were two little Mormon boys, and uh, that was on my my first step on the highway to hell. And boy, oh boy, I tell you. So yeah, seventeenth birthday was cool, and then eighteenth, I uh, I don't remember what I did on my eighteenth birthday. Nineteenth birthday, I know I was already uh, probably going to be a father. I think so. There you go. Things happen quick for me. Subscribe, metal, subscribe, getting up there, we're getting up there, thank you, peace.